She has a disadvantage. She's barefoot. Oh my god! Her second eye, though! Hey guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reacting to Kill Bill Volume 2. Honestly, I'm very excited. I am in a bit of a, like, very confusing mood. My cat threw up all over my floor this morning. Like, she woke up at 5 a.m. And I was like, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Continue doing that. And I just kept waking up all through the night. I didn't really have a good night's sleep. So I'm in a bit of a haze, as you can say. Like, I'm a little bit disheveled. So I'm in a funny mood. <laughs> but all jokes aside, as soon as I watched the first one, I knew that I wanted to kind of react to these movies back to back. I used to do it with like series of movies. Um, I used to watch all of them back to back. Now I don't really do that that often. I don't know why, but I'm kind of... Like I pick and choose what I watch on the day of filming. And sometimes I'm just not in the mood to continue the franchise. But here it's a completely different story. I really want to know what the hell was going on. Like, I need to know. So I'm really excited to check this out with you guys. I hope you are too. Before we hop into this video though, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Also follow me on my socials, all the links are in the description as usual. And without further ado, let's check this out. Do you find me sadistic? Oh yes, 100% I do. Okay. No if that's Bill talking, yes. Nice to kiss to Bill? Oh. It's your baby. Maybe because, like, he loved her. Looked dead, didn't I? Well, I wasn't. <laughs> but it wasn't from lack of trying, I can tell you that. That is true. Like, they actually did try. I went on what the movie advertisements refer to as a roaring rampage of revenge. Okay, right from the start, this feels like an old Hollywood movie. Like, when the actor stares directly into the camera, like, it gives me this feeling. She's also explaining the plot, and that is always a win in my book. I've killed a hell of a lot of people to get to this point. Yes, you did, ma'am. Yes, you did. But I have only one more. The last one. She is seducing me, though. I am gonna kill Bill. Yes! Title drop, let's go! I thought, like, the opening scene of the first movie was great. This is genius as well. I loved it. Chapter 6. Okay. Honestly, I've heard somewhere that that is supposed to be like one movie, but because it was so long, Quentin decided to split it in two. Has since become legend. Massacre at Two Pines. I mean, nine people dead. And the bride was pregnant. Of course it is a legend. The massacre didn't happen during a wedding at all. Oh. It was a wedding rehearsal. Oh. You may kiss the bride, but don't stick your tongue in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I'm just saying. I was part of the gang. I was a bar K. If they come through Texas, I can play with them. So he's basically working for everybody. Anyone who wants him, he'll be playing for them. And then we have the groom side. But since the bride ain't got nobody coming... I wonder why she has no guests. Does she have no one? Honey, you know, it would be good if you had somebody come. Oh yeah, thank you. You know, as a sign of good faith. Didn't think about that. Silly me. <laughs> I'm sorry, mother. What if I don't have anyone? You have no family? Well, I'm working on changing that. She's gonna go out and get some air. Let me hit pause for a second here. I feel like it's one of these stories where, like, she used to be an assassin. Now she wants to kind of settle down, you know, have a family, be a good citizen or something. I don't know what ex-assassins do. I'm assuming that Bill is like... A toxic axe that keeps on coming. Also, it kind of, it doesn't click. <laughs> like, why would you freaking kill? Oh, you would want to kill her whole, like, family, newfound family, and her friends, in order to, like, make her come back. Though that logic is also flawed. I don't know, guys. I'm running out of theories. Lesson here, just don't become an assassin, guys. Oh my god, this is getting so tense. Okay. Hello, Bell. Why are you here? Last look. What do you mean, a last look? Are you gonna be nice? I've never been nice my whole life. At least you're staying truthful. Your sweet side is your best side. I guess that's why you're the only one who's ever seen it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. I don't like this 
at all. I'm knocked up. That young man of yours sure doesn't believe in wasting time. The way they keep like making steps towards each other as they exchange this little, I don't know, quirky lines. This whole interaction is like walking on eggshells. You know, they're very like concerned with making the right move and saying the right word. He owns a used record store here in El Paso. Music lover, eh? He's fond of music. I don't know why, but this small talk is making me kind of nervous. It is so intense for some reason. And what are you doing for a J-O-B these days? Oh, well, you know, not killing people. I happen to be more or less particular who my gal marries. Your gal? Always was a bit lonely, but I wouldn't sit anywhere else. Oh my God, stop this. I don't know, I feel like I'm being seduced and threatened at the same time. Tommy, I'd like you to meet my father. Father? <laughs> oh my. Wait, what the fuck? Daddy, I told Tommy that you were in Perth mining for silver and. Lucky for us all, that's not the case. Lucky, yeah. Mm. Lucky for them. We're all so happy you could make it, Bill. I guess I just believe in living dangerously. <sighs> Famous last words. What am I thinking? You should give her away. Tommy, that's not exactly Daddy's cup of tea. That's asking a lot. That is so uncomfortable. Imagine for a second if he was actually her dad and like you're meeting your bride's dad at the day of like your wedding dress rehearsal, whatever the hell this is, but this is so crazy. And you gotta like make a first impression. Mm, good luck with that. If he's the man you want, go stand by me. The fuck? Girl, everybody here thinks he's your dad. Like subconsciously, she knows he wouldn't let her go like that easily, but she wants to believe it. What are you doing? Your freaking groom is standing right there. Yep. So he already made up his mind when he came here. It was not even a question of like, whether he would like this man or not. It didn't really matter. I also wonder why like certain scenes are in black and white but it's not just the flashbacks because some of the flashbacks were not in black and white you telling me she cut her way through 88 bodyguards 88 she got a hanzo sword didn't he swear a blood oath to never make another sword well i guess that makes her special them japs sure know how to hold the grudge don't they i think he doesn't like you guys <laughs> i don't know just a hunch you hawked a hattori hanzo sword I guess he doesn't give a fuck. Also, Bill looks exactly like Bill. I don't know how to explain that. He looks like a typical Bill. It was priceless. <laughs> While I needed money. And start becoming afraid of because she is coming. Not naming her was a great decision, but I will have to Google this after watching this movie because I have no idea why they would do so. That woman deserves her revenge. She does. I wonder why all of them agreed to that slaughter we deserve to die wait a second we already saw that man he already said it in the first movie i'm so dumb yeah you guys do deserve to die late again but can't you tell time so like she wanted to have a family after her retirement and this dude owns a freaking strip club but he's allowed to like live his life as he wants and she wasn't the double standards man i don't know what car was you worked before you came here they let you stroll in 20 minutes late but... oh, he doesn't own a strip club he just works in it larry there ain't nobody out there larry also there's an obscene amount of money where everyone can see it that's a bold choice larry what are you trying to convince me of exactly that you're as useless as an asshole right here oh your ass is getting fired before you leave, talk to Rocket. She's got a job for you to do. So are you firing him or not? Like, I don't get it. The toilet is at it again. There's shitty water all over the floor. I'll clean it up. I'm assuming this guy loves his life. Is she here? The bride? I don't know, the suspense is killing me. Yes, she is. Hello. She... Oh my god. I was gonna say, like, she had the element of surprise, but does she really need it? That's what I thought. Of course he has a gun. But she's probably wearing, like, a bulletproof vest or something. She keeps getting her ass kicked. 
all the time. <laughs> oh my god. What were you expecting, girl? I thought she had a plan or something like that. Like, what? That was gross. Okay. She should have had a plan. Right? Or maybe she wanted him to get her to Bell because she doesn't know where he is. Oh, is this girl. That Tari Hanzo sword. How much? He wants to sell her the sword. You get your bony ass down here first thing in the morning with a million dollars in folding cash. Come here, honey. I need some money. One condition. She must suffer to her last breath. I wonder what happened between those two. Wait, is he digging a grave for her? Kind of early for that yet. Ooh. They changed the ratio. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was really creative. I think that's because she was in, like, an enclosed space. And that was made to make us feel, like, a little bit claustrophobic. Oh, she is Paula Schultz. Okay. Why did they have to open the casket, though? There was no reason, really. Is she the cutest little blonde pussy you ever saw? I've seen better. Okay, great. You're next on our hit list. White women call this the silent treatment, that we let them think we don't like it. <laughs> I don't know, man. You just dug up a grave for her, but you are gonna end up in it. Mark my words. I was gonna bury it. So what are you gonna do instead? <laughs> the flashlight? Right in your eyeballs. Oh. I'll burn them right out of your fucking head. Now what's it gonna be, sister? The choice is yours. This is for breaking my brother's heart. All of that happened because she broke Bill's heart? He's the definition of a freaking toxic ex. Are you kidding me? Not to mention her in-laws. Kind of crazy. Oh my god. I love that we don't see anything, just hear. The sounds are freaking crazy. I mean, I'm about to have a panic attack because we're in it with her. With the, we are the bride. We're back to black and white. Hey, have you ever wanted to know what it feels like to be buried alive? Yeah, me neither. Well, I know what you're supposed to do if you're buried alive. Like, I've read anything you can read on that topic. Just because I'm crazy and I overthink things and I'm just an anxious person, whatever. There is no way I will actually be able to do that. Like, to follow all of the instructions. It's actually quite interesting that this movie is just as much about Belle as it is about her, about the bride. Whereas the, the first movie was just centered around her. It's not only her story, but it's their story. The two of them. And I'm assuming both of them fucked up at some point. I do not think that the bride is like all that innocent. Although the only one who is still narrating the story, like whose inner monologues we hear, is still the bride. Gave the monk the slightest of nods. Was not returned, but is known were the consequences. The consequences of not returning the nod. It even sounds funny. This is so unserious. Did he offer Pai Mei his neck to repay the insult? An insult? You're just a freaking man. So began the massacre of the Shaolin what Temple. What do you mean? All 60 of the monks inside at the fists of the White Lotus. The freaking cruelty. And what, pray tell, is the five-point palm exploding heart technique? Oh, let me guess. You just rip the heart out of somebody's chest with the five of your fingers. At five different pressure points on your body, your heart explodes. Well, I was close enough. Whatever Pai Mei says, obey. Help me! We're about to meet him? If you throw any American sass his way. He'll snap your back and your neck like they were twigs. Well, he seems fun. He'll accept you as his student. When they become old, they get lonely. That's a great point, though. When I was younger, I felt like loneliness... What? Can I speak today? I felt like loneliness is not a thing. Like, I was so... I don't know, satisfied with being on my own. I was so okay. Now it's a completely different story. I'm like, I need people. <laughs> what the heck? 
maybe it's because our insecurities grow as we age, but it feels nice to have someone by your side. <laughs> You're gonna have a lot of fun carrying buckets of water up and down that fucker. Ooh, spoilers. Hates Caucasians, despises Americans, and has nothing but contempt for women. Oh, nice. Well, that's me in a nutshell. Adios. And so the training begins. We have so many stairs, man. <laughs> he looks exactly how I imagined him. <laughs> okay. Got it. It's so weird to see her like being humbled like that. I'm sorry, bit me with a stick? Kind of dehumanizing. Which I'm assuming is the point. What training do you possess? Well, I've watched four Kung Fu Panda movies. Does that count? <laughs> oh, he doesn't tolerate swords. He has no respect for them, which is not good for us. Well, I can trash talk like a pro. Oh, she's pissed. We're gonna get embarrassed again. Are we not? This is not happening. You did what? How much do you weigh? But that was impressive as heck. <laughs> He's so unimpressed. It's hilarious. Oh. She's like a child, honestly. Which is not surprising. Like, it's supposed to be this way. He has to teach her something. Oh. A stone. Honey. <laughs> Just call her a basic white bitch. <laughs> I don't know, I just despise people who love power that much. It's like, okay, we get it, you're cool. Get over yourself. <laughs> the crack of the fingers, no. So, like, that is what he does, right? Just sits on top of the mountain and trains people, sometimes. What does he do when there are no trainees? Just meditate? Ooh, he approves! Oh, her hand is fucked. Come on, girly, let's just keep trying, just keep trying. Oh, no, no, that is disrespectful, that's a no-no. Mm -mm -mm. I thought for a second she's gonna flip it. And I was like, oh girl, no, 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 it's not time for defiance. Dude, everything is a test. Oh, we're finally gonna find out if she makes it or not. She can easily break it, right? Like the casket, oh my god. My claustrophobic ass could never. I'm getting goosebumps, even like watching these scenes. It's so, oh my god, it just clicked. We saw her training to break this wood, and she's gonna do that. Because he said, like, what if the enemy is like this close? What are you gonna do? And the enemy is closer than ever. Dude, even filming this would give me so much anxiety. They didn't check the boots. Rookie mistake. You did it! Let's go! Let's see if the training pays off. So the instructions I mentioned earlier were kind of the opposite, because the dirt is gonna fall on top of her, kind of suffocating her. Let's fucking go! Rising from the dead. The perseverance this woman has. My god. Oh my god. God, imagine seeing something like that. I'd be like, nope, not today, we're not serving, ma'am. Chapter 9. Alan die. Oh, 
okay, okay. I was curious about their relationship because she seems to hate her guts. Like, I don't know why this woman has so much hatred towards the bride, but it's kind of serious. I really don't think anything can kill her at this point. She just keeps surviving. So, you know, wandering through the desert, easy. Just like a walk in the park. What's the name on the grave she's buried under? Schultz. Why do I feel like she's here to kill him? You compare it to every other sword ever made. Except. Wasn't made. Yeah. By a Tory Hunt. I ha except a Hunt's sword. That makes sense. The number one killer of old people is retirement. <laughs> Capitalism on Max. Which are you filled with? Relief or regret? Regret for what? For not like killing her, herself, or for getting engaged in this whole mess in the first place. <laughs> Dude, she's gonna kill you. <clears throat> Why do I feel so tense? Yep. Yeah. Bye, buddy. I mean, they are... Excuse me, we're a part of a snake squad. All of them are snakes. I'm sorry, bud. That was rude of me, wasn't it? Was it Black Mamba, by the but way? I'd like to introduce my friend, the Black Mamba. Oh my god, it was. A bite to the face or torso can bring death from paralysis within 20 minutes. Listening to all this, as you experience and go through the exact same thing that she's talking about. You no, know, I've always liked that word, gargantuan. I so rarely have an opportunity to use it in a sentence. <laughs> Girl, she's funny. The greatest warrior I have ever met was met her end at the hands of a bushwhacking yeah, scrub. That's what I thought. Look for the headstone marked Paula Schultz and resting place of Beatrix Kiddo. Beatrix Kiddo. Is that her real name? Beatrix Kiddo. Here. No, 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 no. You need me, baby. I'm there. Here's what I don't understand. Like, the dynamics between all of them. Who were they to each other? I'm assuming that bad guy was Belle's real, actual brother. But who's this lady? Who's Elle? Hello? Oh. Okay. How do you keep going? Like, I would be disoriented after the first punch. I swear to God. Ow! She used his body as a trampoline. <laughs> Bye, bitch. Oh my God, being drowned in the toilet water. I, oh, oh. I wonder if she ever learned the five something technique. To my brother Bud, the only man I ever loved. He said he sold his sword for 220 bucks. I guess he did the same that Elle did to him, to whoever was buying his sword. What did you say to Pai Mei to make him snatch out your eye? <laughs> I called oh. him a miserable old fool. My god. So she went through the same training program. I killed that miserable old fool. You did what? That's right. <laughs> I killed your master. And now I'm gonna kill you too. Yeah, but said retirement was like the number one death factor. It's not. It's actually betrayal. In the very immediate future will become my sword. Dude, you're getting ahead of yourself. Bitch. You don't have a future. Ooh, I love that. The staring contest is intense. She has a disadvantage. She's barefoot. Oh my god! Her second eye though! Well, that's for my master. That is for my master. And she did it before, like we've, we've already seen it. I mean, she's gonna, she's gonna die here without her sight. 
She's in the middle of nowhere, in the desert. Not my problem anymore. Last chapter? Face to face. Okay, I'm so excited. Let's go. Okay. Is it, a, is it a flashback as well? She has like shorter hair. Or oh, did she change her hairstyle? <laughs> She's like, Belle, do you like my new haircut? I did it specially for you. It's called Revenge is a Dish Best Surf Gold. It would be this retired gentleman of leisure who could point me in Bill's direction. Will he be willing to do that though? Only on the condition that you call me Esteban. May I join you, Esteban? <laughs> she knows how to talk to this like dirty old man. Relish the opportunity to converse with such a pretty companion as yourself. Dude, you're 80. Keep it in your pants. Where's Bill? You must be Beatrix. We're just using her name now. I would have been much nicer. I would have just cut your face. Thank you, I guess. Clara! Did he cut her face? Do you know why I help you? No. Because he will want me to. You're saying he would want to see her? That will not end well. Like, either one of them is gonna die for sure. She's like, I came prepared. Freeze, mommy. Bang, bang. Oh. oh. That's her real daughter. I'm pervious to bullets, mommy. Hey, get back down there. You're oh, yeah. playing possum. And she called her mommy. As the smirking killer advanced on what she thought Bill is such was a, a bullet-ridden corpse. Bang, bang. Oh. For Beatrix. <sighs> Emma Thurman is so talented. Oh, my known. God. I told her you were asleep, but that one day you'd wake up and come back to her. Does she know that's her real mom? I'm assuming he told her, but that's insane. I would have, like, so many questions. We've never met, like, why? I waited a long time for you to wake up, mommy. No, this breaks my heart. She hates him. She is furious, and I would be too. You're pretty too, mommy. <laughs> but she's also, like, happy. It's such a, I don't, it's such a weird little thing. You know what I mean? She, like, up to this point, she thought she lost her baby. But now she knows that her baby's alive. Though he was hiding her. Don't you think mommy has the prettiest hair in the whole wide world? I told you it's the new haircut, the revenge one. And she said, no, no, no. Emilio was on the carpet when I stepped on him. And how did he end up on the carpet? She said she took Emilio out of his bowl and put him. Accidentally, though. <laughs> that was an accident. You stomped on mommy? Worse. I shot mommy. Are you okay saying it to a, what, a five-year-old? What I didn't know was when I shot mommy, what would happen to me? Yeah, that was your mistake. And that's when I learned some things, once you do, they can never be undone. What a freaking valuable lesson you learned, huh? Could have learned it without, like, attempting to kill her, but okay. Yeah, one peaceful night before the showdown. Or we kill Bill. You got him to make you sore. It was easy. I just dropped your name, Bill. Yeah, it seems to work like a charm. Everybody wants your ass kicked. I wonder what he did to all these people. Like, he has quite a reputation. When it comes to the subject of me, you are truly and utterly incapable of telling the truth. Well, I don't really care if you know me well. I just want you dead. <laughs> Can we skip this part? I have a solution. Ah! Gotcha! What the fuck? What is what it? What the fuck did you just shoot me with? Don't touch it. What is it though? And quite infallible truth serum. I call it the undisputed truth. Huh? A slight wave of euphoria. Ooh. You feel it? Euphoria? Yeah. No. <laughs> Anger? Yes. I'm quite keen on comic books, especially the ones about superheroes. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? My favorite superhero, Superman. There is my answer. When Superman wakes up in the morning, he's Superman. His alter ego is Clark Kent. I don't know. I find Superman quite boring, actually. Clark Kent is Superman's critique on the whole human race. What do 
are you driving at? You would have worn the costume of Arlene Plimpton. But you were born Beatrix Kiddo. That was her choice. Working in a used record store, going to the movies with Tommy. That was her choice and her, like, dream. You're a renegade killer bee. Nothing in the world would ever change that. It's just you having control issues. That's what it is. It's not about her. It's about you. I think you would have been a wonderful mother. She still will be. But you are a killer. God damn it! All those people you killed to get to me felt damn good, didn't they? Yes. Ooh. Yeah, all of them are crazy, so what? Now comes the $64,000 question. Why 64000 The number is very specific. The morning I left, I was sick. On the plane, I threw up. Okay, so she was already pregnant. <sighs> the wait in. And the ticking stops. As she finds out she's pregnant. Can you just leave it by the door? <laughs> Almost got her. What is this? On the floor by the door is a strip that says I'm pregnant. Bullshit. She thinks it's a trick. Stay where you are and don't move. I don't know what this fucking shit means. She's ready to follow the freaking girl code? Okay, she's pregnant, so so what? She was ready to kill her. Easy to use. <laughs> she's gonna freaking read the directions. <laughs> that is so funny. Blue means pregnant. I'll read it myself, thank you. <laughs> she's so funny. Oh, okay. Congratulations. Oh, she's actually leaving. There is a freaking knife sticking out her arm. The face in the hole, I love that shot. Congratulations. I knew she'd say that. Before that strip turned blue, I would have jumped a motorcycle onto a speeding train for you. Not anymore. Well, why didn't you tell me then instead of now? Once you knew you'd claim her. Yeah, should be in a clan. Letting somebody think somebody they love is dead when they're not is quite cruel. Oh, really? Do you think so? What about the baby? You're getting married to some fucking jerk. Oh, did he Did he think, uh, like her other guy, did he think that was his baby? Three months is like, it's kind of fast. I overreacted. Overreacted. That's one way to put it. Was my reaction really that surprising? I don't know, dude. We could have talked. You and I. Unfinished business. That's right. That's goddamn right. You ain't kidding. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, here it is. The final freaking fight. Is this the five something something? Is this the move? Plan A taught you the five point palm exploding art. That one? Of course he did. That's why he's her monster, not Bill, by the way. Why didn't you tell me? Because I'm a bad person. Oh, honey. No. You kind of are. But every once in a while, you can be a real cunt. <laughs> <laughs> That's your goodbye? Have a look. Ready to die. You look ready. That's what I said. What if he just continues to sit there? You know, doing nothing. He doesn't die then? Four and five and six okay yeah that was enough that's crazy <laughs> this freaking technique is crazy did you kill bill <laughs> i i just got it we did it <laughs> the girl is so chill by the way like she doesn't know that woman she knows he's her mother but she doesn't know her <laughs> She cried a lot and I can't tell. I think it's a little bit of both. What a happy ending! AK the bride. AK mommy! That is so sweet. In all honesty, she probably doesn't deserve the happy ending that she got. Like, she killed so many people and that's bad. Like, I don't know what to tell you, that is bad. And you shouldn't do that. Here you go, guys. That's the lesson of the story. No, but honestly, like, in the context of this movie, I'm happy for her. In the context of the real life, girl, 
Anyway, guys, that was my reaction to Kill Bill Volume 2. Honestly, I think I love this, the first movie better than this one. Just because of the pacing, I think this one was a little bit slower and less hectic, less chaotic. But yeah, what a story, man. What a freaking story. And just as I said, Bill is a definition of a toxic ex. You know what they say, if you love someone, you should let them go. Uh, he didn't. <laughs> he couldn't. And he decided to kill her. I also felt like the first movie was a little bit... Uh, more creative with like the music choices, but anyway overall like I had such a blast watching these movies with you guys It's a little bit different uh, from what I usually watch on my channel as I said and I don't know I like the change of scenery So if you guys want me to react to some other films, maybe made by Tarantino Please let me know in the comments down below and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.